Merrimack's five-game win streak is on the line this afternoon in North Andover, Massachusetts, as they welcome in the NEC leading Sacred Heart Pioneers. Although Sacred Heart has won the two games against Fairleigh Dickinson this year, so they have a little bit of an edge here. Our officials, Laura Isabel, Carrie Lang, and Christian Peterson, and we're off and running and I will here in North this, Andover. Paul, and, and, and for her to make that triple already five first quarter points, great start for the do-everything freshman from Baltimore. Yeah, five of the first seven. And now Thomas, a two for two start from her, and she's got all six. Coached by a gentleman who I used to broadcast his basketball games for many, many years ago, and he's won a couple state titles up there. He's done an outstanding job. Is on cue, Amelia buries the triple. Looking for the screen to Cesare. Trying to go the opposite way. Step back, three, and wow. We have seen two very kind of bounces this afternoon so far. Sacred Heart leads the conference. They're among the top 25 programs nationally in steals per game, better than 10 per contest. There's one with the drive. Count the basket and one. Well, that's very keen, good eye. That's exactly right. That happens a lot, too, in the game of college basketball. And Diamond Christian scorching on from the field. Now four of nine is start. Now, right now, about 29% is a team coming in for Sacred Heart. Or uh, Merrimack, excuse me, 28%. And there it is, Diamond Christian. And it's always going to try to take that last leap or stride then. And it's turned over. And again, one of the top teams in the country in terms of steals. Pryor outside. Bonner three. It falls for Sajeda Bonner. And we're back even at 20. Man, and this Merrimack group is, is, is playing energized, erasing a big first quarter deficit. Uh, Savannah Marshall rattles it home. Jester sixth appearance of the season. No, no doubt. And with Shada Powell goes right to the chest of Olivia Tucker. Some physicality for both sides in the second quarter. Bonner three, her second of the contest. Finds Thomas. Puts the ball on the deck. Thomas dangles in the air. Couldn't get it to hit. Ball's on the floor. Pryor with the baseball. He was just to the right of the hoop. But Sacred Heart holds Merrimack into single digits out. Score 14 and nine in the second quarter. Will carry a 31 to 29 lead into the locker room. That consistency for a freshman is just very atypical. That's when areas like the DMV, no doubt. New Jersey, the same as basketball, heavy states, is Diamond Christian with her third tray in the contest. And five and white for Merrimack. Dish to Christian, other screen sent by Staten, and Christian makes a pay. That was literally the same exact set they ran to get Christian the triple a couple times ago. And what a start, Diamond's got eight already here in the, in the second half, all eight of Merrimack's points. Uh, Sacred Heart looking for something, and they found something from the freshman, Amelia Wood. Uh, Sacred Heart just won for the last 11 from the field. Thomas from the top, her first point since the opening quarter. She's got 14. Wow. And Merrimack has hit five of the last six. Timeout, Sacred Heart. Five of 10 in the opening quarter, just one of three in the second, and now three of four start here in this third quarter and prior her first make from outside since her first attempt of the game that's kind of the culture that you want as well and that's what you get in Jamie to Cesare in the tough guard that she is but my goodness now you see a prior what a take that'd be that's prior off the left part of the rim and Hamilton and swarming defense we saw in the first quarter. Outlet though to Christian. Easy two for her in transition. Looking to push. Thomas, I don't know numbers. She's attacking though. It's swallowed up by Amelia Wood. Wow. That was a great defensive play by Wood. Now prior the other end. Count the basket. Blocking foul on to Cesare and Anna one. What, what, what a sequence there for Sacred Heart. You get a transition opportunity negated at one end on outstanding defensive play by Amelia Wood at the rim. Here you see Thomas. Wood does a great job here to go straight up that principle of verticality. Yeah. Good no call, I thought. And at the other end, Pryor goes end to end to Cesare a little late there. Maybe she was inside the restrictor hook as well. Great. <laughs> leave it out there. Pryor open from the left wing and sinks it. She's made 12 threes all year coming into today. She's got three this afternoon. So we've had three lead changes. Here 
Cormack has led for about 56% part of the game. Owens, can she beat the horn? She does. And Ava Owens ties it up at 48. You gotta recognize that. One point lead for the Pioneers. Kick out Christian. Second try. Uh, Pure nylon for Diamond Christian. New season high, new career best for Diamond Christian. What a game she has had. That's now her fifth made three-pointer of the game. They've got Christian with 21. Fryer with 21. Wow. And the answer from Amelia Wood. I see some high quality basketball in this fourth quarter. It's been a great game. It's been a fantastic. It's lived up to the billing coming in. And top team in the NEC. Thomas had that bank first quarter and starting to heat up here in quarter number four. It's two points away from getting that double double. Two rebounds from the triple double. Christian for three oh, and man. rattled halfway down and popped out. Pryor. They got numbers two on one. Outside. Tucker three. And we're tied at 60 again. Also seven rebounds and seven assists. As Staten gets ready to check back in. Pryor, right elbow jumper. Too strong. Gets her own miss though. Follows it up and puts it back up and in. Looking for her 12th NEC Rookie of the Week honor. Oh yeah. Give it to her right now. DeCesare corner tray. It's good. And to Cesare, 11 points, 10 assists, 8 rebounds, have a day. Merrimack looking to retake the lead, trail a point right now. Thomas for 3, for the lead, she's got it! And keep the number running for the Warriors. Wow. It will be 7 in a row for Merrimack. As they sweep the season series of Sacred Heart, pick up their eighth win in conference play, 73-66. That's a really good win for this program. They continue to play great basketball.